Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. My name's Ashley. If you're new here, hi, and if you're a returner, welcome back. Also, if you are a returner, it looks a little different around here. If you don't follow me on Instagram, well, you're missing out. One, two, if you do, then you saw the absolute crap I went through for these shelves. But they are up, they're still holding. Let's hope nothing falls while I'm recording. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will attach the stories that I'm talking about at the end of this review, and I'll give you a full studio tour as well. I am a millennial that likes to go back and watch your classic movies for the very first time. I'll give you what I call a preview review, which is what I think the movie is going to be about based on pop culture around the movie. We watch it together, edit it of course, because copyright, and then uh, I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars. I give a full list of some movies that I have up my sleeve, and then I put a poll over on Patreon, link in the description box down below, and you voted on what movie you wanted me to watch first. And this one by a landslide it is the 1980s hit Airplane. I'm super excited about it because because, well one, I saw the mom from What About Bob. Her name in the movie was Faye. I don't know what her real name is. She's gonna be in this movie. I liked her in that one, so that'll be good. I don't know anybody else who plays in that movie. So let's get right on into my preview review for Airplane. I know it's gonna be a comedy just because some patrons have told me that it's super funny. I'm gonna bust a gut. It's also been compared to Blazing Saddles and I had to do um, a lot of editing on that movie. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting myself into on this one. If, see, if you compare it to Blazing Saddles, then I'm gonna say that it's a movie that probably could not be remade today. Regardless, I'm excited about it. The title Airplane makes me think of airplanes. So I don't know, is this like always? I don't know. I also don't know who else is gonna be in this. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's get on into the 1980s hit Airplane on this Millennial Movie Monday. Is this like, is this gonna be like a Jaws knockoff, but in the air? Stop it! <laughs> I don't know who Robert Hayes is. Julie Haggerty, that's the the wife from What About Bob? Is that, that's her, that's Julie. She is so pretty. You know what, I love to travel, but I have to take Xanax before I fly. I just get so nervous. Listen, I ain't scared about boats, I ain't scared of the ocean, but I am scared of flying. Look at these suits. Can we talk about them? The flared pants. Stop it! <laughs> We'd like you to have this flower on behalf of the Church of Religious Consciousness. Would you kick? Just leave your whole jacket, okay. It's over there with a the baggage loader. Oh no, you sent the plane the wrong way. Oh, that's terrifying. And I can't live with the man I don't respect. Oh, what did he do? What did you do? Hi. What a pisser. <laughs> Dominant females? Lord? Captain Over. Modern sperm. That's a good one. Some light reading. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight 209 or a little girl named Lisa Davis. I'm Is that mayonnaise? Why does he have so much mayonnaise? I want you to make sure that she's kept in a reclined position and that a continuous Stop. watch is kept on. Stop. I'm going to throw up. An emergency call for you on line five from a Mr. Ham. All right, give me Ham on five. Hold the mail. I haven't been able to get near a plane since the war. Oh, he's got some PTSD. I just reviewed the area report for 1,600 hours through 2,400. Uh-huh. It's an occluded front. That is not how they clean the windshields, right? I reviewed the area report for 1,600 hours through 2,400. What's that? Oh, it's that little thing. It's that little thing like planes, trains, and automobiles where they run the credit card information. Look at me remembering. Oh, oh, I forgot he was a taxi driver. Oh my god. Smoking or non smoking Smoking, please. You used to be able to smoke on a plane? <laughs> 
what's up and say I won't sing? Mm -hmm. Pray to Jay, I did the same old, same old. Hey. I swear to God, I was like, why do these subtitles not match what they're saying? Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Stop it! <laughs> I mean, I know that's what they used to do on trains, but like, is this making a reference to another movie I haven't seen? You better shut the door! Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Now our radio clearance over. <laughs> It was low-hanging fruit, but they took it, and I'm not mad at it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain Over speaking. That's a good-looking older man. Our arrival time in Chicago will I'm be... I'm sorry, ma'am. What are you reading? Do you have anything light? How about this leaflet? Famous Jewish sports legends. Yes, thank you. What about modern sperm? Darling figure. Supple, pouting breath. Firm thighs. Very interesting descriptions. Is that her? Stop. Also, wasn't that a trumpet playing? Not, not a trombone. And nobody else in the bar is paying attention to them. That is so funny. Hey, I would dance with striped shirt guy. Ah 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 ah, stay alive, stay alive. Ah 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 ah, stay alive. I love striped shirt man. I'm sorry, where did she go? <laughs> I'm so done. Excuse me? What? This is such a long scene, but like I'm having so much fun. Honestly, if you were doing that dance and juggling at the same time, you would have won me over too. Yeah, I hope this hasn't been boring for you. Is she asleep? It's just that whenever I start to talk about Elaine, I always get so carried away. I lose all track of time. <laughs> I want you to stand. I need a where are they now. Like the kids in this movie, where are they now? Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, if I would have had something in my mouth, I probably would have spit it out. I was not ready. Renick, that's a cute suit. I would buy one like that. Oh, don't. Y'all don't want to do something there. Yeah, because the sand's going to get in all your cracks and crevices, and it ain't going to be good. We're coming in from the north, below their radar. Are you supposed to be telling somebody that much information about it? Tell me about that. I can't tell you that. <laughs> The fish! Oh my god, no! Hello. Hi. This is Captain Over. Mr. Are y'all supposed Murdoch to bring visitors into the cockpit? Visit. I don't know. Would you like to have it? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, well now I want to go to a cockpit. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? I'm sorry, what? You are, Kareem. I've seen you play. My dad's got season tickets. I don't know who that is, and I don't know if that is him for real or not. I remember how you used to hold me. How I used to sit on your face and wriggle it. Well, you know what they say, and I'm sure he said it to her. As long as he's got a face, she has a place to sit. They've cleared you of any blame for what happened on that raid. Isn't that good news? Listen, I'm not a mama, but I don't think that's how you hold a baby. Take five. Thanks. What? Thinks he's Ethel Merman. You'll be swell. You'll be great. That's the woman from Mad Mad World. Bet y'all thought I wasn't going to recognize her, did you? Mm. Could I borrow your guitar? I thought maybe I could cheer her up. Where the hell is this going? Thank you. A guitar. Okay. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought maybe you'd like to hear She her looks song. like Lori from that it's 70 nasty. show, Eric's sister. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Um, check on the kid. Check on the kid. The kid is dying on the plane. Stop. 
deal for storing leftovers to help stretch your food dollar. We love a good pyramid scheme moment. No one had ever outlined a physical fitness program for them and they had no athletic equipment. Do they need a physical fitness program? You know, I really couldn't blame Elaine if she wanted a career. Stop! I haven't felt this awful since we saw that Ronald Reagan film. I'll see if I can find some Dramamine. What Ronald Reagan film? Oh, I shouldn't have had that second cup of coffee. Oh, so everybody's not feeling good. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have some passengers. Who is that? He looks familiar. But the fact that he's wearing a stethoscope, I'm so done. Excuse me? What the hell is happening here? Why does she have so many eggs in her mouth? This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? Clearly. What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> Not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I'm done with this. What a perfectly good plate of mashed potatoes just gone to waste. Okay, so I guess he really is a basketball player. Uh, a couple points of interest. We're now no. flying over Hoover Dam. Do not! Do not. Uh, we'll pass. Yeah, that, that keeps me calm. Spasms, followed by the inevitable grueling. <laughs> No smoking and no sex? Why not? The bumps are even better. It's gonna be a long night. How about some coffee, Johnny? No thanks. I want the weather on every land <laughs> you know, and get a runway time. Terry, check down the field for emergency equipment. Uh they cannot. They they cannot. Thirty-five thousand feet. No wait, thirty-four thousand. Oh, automatic pilots deflating. No, it's he didn't have the fish. Now that is the manual inflation nozzle. Pull it out. And blow on. This is not going to be what I think it is, is it? What the hell's happening back here? A pap smear? Did anybody hear that phone? Because I called it. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta have a cigarette after. Lane, you're a member of this crew. Can you face some unpleasant facts? No. Unless I get Me? all those people to Due to periodic air pockets we encountered, there's no reason to become alarmed. None at all. That's definitely not your pilot being dragged down the center aisle. Please ignore that. <laughs> Puppy! Warn those people about food inspection? you think after all these years, someone would listen to you. Not the dog. The dog's not listening to you. All right, let's get out of here. We're not going to check on the guy. We're not going to check on the guy. There's been a little problem in the cockpit. The no? cockpit? What is it? It's the little room in the front of the plane where the pilot. Stop it! That's so funny. The first officer is ill, and the captain needs someone to help him. With you better blow out that mask before it gets to you. Huh. <sighs> Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Is that where the saying came from? Okay. You're gonna do great, buddy. Ooh, a lot of buttons and a lot of knobs. I could never be a pilot. Keep my 24,000. No, feet. 24, what'd y'all think? Ted Stryker was a crack flight leader up to a point. One of those men who... Why are you driving like that? And all the pieces on a particular mission. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen <laughs> Even the good lord on the dashboard don't believe in you, buddy. Go back and sit down on. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. And, I gotta get out of here. And go where? Oh, I'm down. I'll get back to your seat. I'll take it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. The gun will fix it. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. As you know, I flew with this man Stryker during the... <laughs> Long time ago. I want you to get on the horn and talk Do we want to talk about that? Do we want to talk about that? You can talk him right down to the ground. Very well. Do we want to talk about what's happening? It's like I took the wrong week to quit drinking. Do it all, why not? No, never. Shit. Since I 
goddamn waste of time. So we can land this plane. <laughs> You're holding down the button, buddy. Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. It's a lot harder to put baseball cards in the spokes. Yeah, and a lot more people can die this way, but okay. And the autopilot is flying around the cockpit. Stop it. What's going on? We have a right to know the truth. You're just now asking this? Just now? There's no reason why you shouldn't have complete confidence in your chances to come out of this. Why is there a bird? Would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine? You got it. You got it, lady. Say be sure to be wrong. Chomp the one to help. Chomp don't get the help. Oh, I guess you heard that. Are you typing that? Johnny, what can you make out of Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I can make a cap. Or a brooch. Or a pterodactyl. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Steve McCroskey thought you'd want to get down here right away. Yes, I'll be right down. Do we want to talk about it? Do we want to talk about it? Hello? 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 Echo. Echo. Stop it. Focus. How you doing, honey? Jack, I'm so hot, I'm burning up. Take the blanket off. It could be miles, of course. That's impossible. They're on instruments. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. You got a lot of vices, my dude. But he's an experienced Air Force pilot who flew during the war. There's, so there's an no ice cream cone and has a microphone. Okay, boys. I love that. Let's get some pictures. <laughs> I probably would have ate my own foot too. They knew what they were getting into. I say, let them crash. I know I say some pretty rough stuff, but I ain't never said that. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Certainly not. Oh, you prude. Whatever gets you through it, baby girl. Okay. We're running out of time. Surely there must be something you can do. I'm doing everything I can. Now stop calling me Shirley. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E You're doing great. To be honest, I've never been so scared. But at least I have a husband. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, is that engine three? It was running a little hot. The ship's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> oh, buddy, land the plane. Fix your drinking problem. I want to tell you something. Tell me. The captain made the right decision. The pilot's name was George <gasps> Zip. What? That's beautiful. Excuse me, Doc. Go land that plane. I've got a plane to land. Yeah. I'm giving the orders and we're coming in. I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? You tried your best. You did good. Passenger's certain to die. Oh, no! There's a sale at Penny's! Oh, my God! I love a good J.C. Pel... What? I love a good sale at J.C. Penny's. The tower! Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <laughs> okay. Oh, it won't be long now. Try not to worry. listening to a stethoscope? No, those are headphones watching a movie about planes crashing. Reassuring, good choice. Glad, glad it's playing. Where did you get that dress? It's awful on those shoes and that coat. Jeez. <laughs> Leave, sweetheart. You might get hurt up here. Bye, Randy. Ah! She might get hurt back there. I'm very proud. But maybe save that statement for after you land safely. She is looking for a lot of comfort from this man. Whatever makes you feel better, I guess. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Is there anything this man don't do? All right, now everybody, get the crash position.
Yo, he's hanging out. I didn't realize stiff and glue was that good. What? <laughs> he did it. Have a nice day. Thank you for flying trans America. Nope. Fall in the mud and get kicked in the head by an iron boot. Mm mm. Tell me of about it. No one does. It never happens. <laughs> I forgot about the heart transplant that's supposed to happen. <laughs> the ambulance just crashed. The ambulance just crashed with the heart transplant patient. <laughs> We're taking off again. Good for you, autopilot. Oh, I love that. Okay, so that was really the basketball star. Okay. Let's talk about it. So, I feel like this movie was like Monty Python but Americanized. It was fun. I had a good time. A lot of funny things. And none of the jokes got too old to me. You know, like how they would uh, take, like the pilot at the end, we're all counting on you, like things like that. That's so funny. And some of my, Hubbard and I do this all the time, where they were like, we're gonna have to take them to the hospital. What's that? The tall building. With Hubba and I do that all the time. We'll be walking out of the, at a, it, like, set, like, let's say I have this drink on the table. I'm like, Hubba, will you grab my drink for me? He'll be like, okay, what now? <laughs> That's some of my favorite humor. It was a good movie. That's funny. I see why y'all wanted me to watch it because it reminds me, it's like Monty Python with the ridiculousness, but blazing saddles because of some of the jokes. And I'm sure there's some in there that I missed or I didn't get, you know, but that was funny. I'm going to try to talk Hubbard into watching this. And I love Julie Haggerty. I think she is so pretty. Oh my God. She gave a blow job to the automatic pilot. That's so funny. This movie was a good time. It's funny. It's ridiculous. I would watch it again. Five out of five stars for the 1980s airplane. So much fun. So funny. And is this the movie where, you know, Don't Call Me Shirley came from? I think it is. I think it might be. Five out of five stars. I had a good time. Very funny. Very quotable, I feel like. So thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media and shenanigans down below if you want to watch more. Let me know what you thought about the movie yourself in the comments. Have you ever seen it? Have you not? I will see you here in a couple days for another Millennial Movie member request. And at this point of filming, I can't even tell you what it is because I haven't filmed it yet. So, I will see you here on Friday. Until then, have a wonderful week. Hi. Yes, hello. Just your average thumb coming to you because let me tell y'all what I'm doing today. I'm trying to get... Okay, so y'all saw me hang Whispering Meow's bean portrait, okay? <sighs> Earlier, I was trying to hang some floating shelves in there so I can display stuff you sent me in the P.O. box. Anyways, it didn't work out, and I had a full-on breakdown about it because dramatic? Who? Me? No. Anyways, a little hour break, but I'm back. We're going to hang up these damn shelves. Here, let me show you. See, this is me giving up life, giving up hope, and that's where I try. And so anyways, I've scratched up that wall. There's beans. Anyways, I just... I had a full blown meltdown about some floating shelves. <laughs> I don't know why I told you all that. Update. I got one shelf up. I got three more that I'm going to put like up here. And then I have another, a different shelf I'm going to put here. But update. Look. And it at least holds a Sharpie. So that's, that's great. <laughs> ha ha, little bitch. Got you up too. All right. Two shelves down, two to go. I'm gonna drink a lot of wine after this. Oh wait, here comes beans. Beans! Hi! <laughs> Hi, kitty. <laughs> uh. I gave up on the shelves and started helping Blake with yard work. And so that's been a couple hours. And now I just don't wanna do either anymore, so I'm pulling a beans. I bet when y'all followed me, y'all never thought that y'all be following me through the adventure of hanging shelves and yard work. And let me tell you something. I've lost four followers on here today. 
But if you're gonna be aboard the Hot Mess Express, you're in for all the ups and downs, not just movies. Yeah, I'm about to see me absolutely lose it. <laughs> I'm hammering in the last anchor for the last shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It was like a cartoon. It was like a sick. They just all fell. They just, they just fell. <laughs> I am at my wit's end, my dudes. And I just used, well, ruined my last anchor. So the shelves are staying in the floor. The shelves are staying in the floor. I was supposed to film tomorrow morning, but the shelves are staying in the floor. And that seems like a problem for future Ashley. <laughs> I don't know if me having an absolute mental breakdown is the type of content you signed up for, but it's what you're getting today. I just finished weed eating as a form to procrastinate um, these fucking shelves. So now it's out. <laughs> it's time to resume the shelves. Cause come hell or high water, I'm gonna have a solution for these shelves today. This is not what you think it is, it's better, okay? Bear with me. Mm. Look at these shelves, aren't they just neat? Wouldn't you think it'd be easy to complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl who could at least do this? Look at this shelf, so much could hold. This is where all my treasures would go. You want a tape measure? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. They won't stay. So, I lost an anchor and a screw in that hole right there that I've made in, in my wall. <laughs> I have now put two really big holes in the wall and a small one. And I, I just wish things were easier. <laughs>
that is what an excellent day for an exorcism with Reagan's eyes underneath from Geo in my first PO unboxing. And then I have some DVDs that you guys sent me. I just picked them at random. There's no rhyme or reason as to why they're there. I just thought that looked cool. So, and in this moment, I still haven't done the unboxing that happened when this goes live yesterday. But anyways, so I think my plan for this is to like switch it out every month a little bit, you know? Like, well, not Beans. Beans is staying there, but... You know, Harold's probably going to stay too. But, switching out everything that you guys send me in the P.O. box because I got plenty of stuff I could put in there. So, yeah, this is the studio. And I'll figure out a better way to film where y'all can see beans and it's not a glare, you know? So we'll figure it out.